We have the Steel Series 1, 3, 5, and Pro up for review. I'm in the market for a new gaming headset for my PC. I'm looking for a wired closed back design, so I wanted to give each brand in this category a test review. In the description below, you can find my other video reviews. I'd like to clarify that my opinion about headphones, gaming headsets, and audio products in general is that you usually get what you pay for. I am not reviewing any of these from the perspective of money since it's irrelevant for anyone who is serious about good audio. Headphones should first and foremost sound good and then feel good. My process for testing all these headsets is to listen to music I'm familiar with first to get an idea of the sound quality and then test them out on a few of my favorite games. I'm not really going to focus on the microphones in these tests because I'm assuming they will get the job done. We begin with the Steel Series 1. These are the details provided by the manufacturer. Features same signature soundscape of the award-winning Arctis line, detachable clear cast noise canceling microphone, steel reinforced adjustable headband for a perfect fit, compact portable design. Now let's look into the product design. The design is sleek and has a heavy duty plastic feel, but is lightweight. All controls are on the headset, which makes it convenient. The breathable ear pads are great. They block out sound, but they don't make my ear sweat as much as other brands in this range. The pads used throughout this line appear to be the same. Microphone is detachable. A cable is directly attached to the headset. It has flexible ear cups, so it fits better on your head. Now let's get into the sound quality. This series entry level headphone has excellent sound quality. An excellent presentation of balanced sound. Stereo imaging seems balanced, although it definitely favors the low to mid range. Overall great sound and dynamics. This is a great starting point for the sound profile in this series. Music stereo. While these are gaming headsets, you can easily use them to listen to music as well. Music is presented well with a nice sound stage and nothing is really favored. Game stereo. The gaming sound is excellent and sound placement appears to be good. Sounds are clear and detailed to me. The sound stage presented well for an entry level headset. Next up we have the Steel Series 3. These are the details provided by the manufacturer. Discord certified clear cast noise canceling retractable microphone for clear natural sounding voice. Arctic Signature Soundscape emphasizes critical sounds that give you an audio advantage. Play all day with athletics inspired performance air weave ear cushions that keep your ears cool and dry. Now let's look at the product design. For a closed back headset, the headband and ear cups feel extremely comfortable and breathable. Compared to the Arctis one, they feel more flexible. Overall, the fit feels balanced on top of my head. Controls are all on the headset, which makes it convenient for when you're in game. I really like how the microphone is hidden into the headset. It's very sleek looking. It has a cool matted look and the materials feel similar to the Arctis one. Let's get into sound quality. As for the sound profile, I would say it is very similar to the Arctis one. Overall, the sound quality is good and it presents the sound you want and need for music and gaming. Both headsets provide clarity and detail. Overall, you get a more comfortable headset with the Arctis 3. Next up, we have the Steel Series 5. These are the details provided by the manufacturer. Discord certified clear class bi-directional microphone, award-winning Arctis sound signature, next generation DTS headphone surround sound, balanced game and chat audio with USB chat mix dial, and Prism RGB illuminated ear cups. Now let's look at the product design. These look very similar to the Arctis 3. I see the similar seams with each model we upgrade to. It's solidly constructed with hefty plastic. The ear cups and headband are so comfortable. Feels similar to the Arctis 3. The only differences from the perspective of product design are the chat mix dial and the RGB illumination. Now let's get into sound quality. In wired mode, the sound profile Arctis 5 is very similar to that of the Arctis 3. These headphones deliver a clear and detailed sound. You won't be disappointed with the low or high end EQ range of these. DTS surround sound music. So it's interesting to see what happened when I installed the surround sound software and connected it to USB directly. It just added more width and separation to the audio source. Soundstage was enhanced without sounding artificial at all. It maintains the same sound profile as the regular wired stereo version, just with more width, instrument separation, and a larger soundstage. You'll like this if you're into this type of sound. 
I don't think it benefits music, but it's an interesting feature to experiment with. DTS surround sound game. I enjoyed the sense of space and sound stage created by the DTS surround sound. It felt a lot more natural than the Razer THX spatial audio I've tried. The depth from above and below, left to right and close to distance didn't sound forced and helped me understand where the sound was coming from. This feature can definitely give you an edge in gaming. After testing it out with different settings, I found that SteelSeries software presented it in the best way. The sound settings can also be customized if something is not right for you. This setup provides excellent sound detail and imaging. The experience made me more aware of what is happening in video games. The setup was easy and the device was recognized immediately. Installing the software allows you to customize RGB, tweak audio settings, create game configurations, chat mix, and enable DTS surround sound. 3.5 millimeter jacks can work well for quick play, but USB cables can be useful for software customization. Next up, we have the SteelSeries Pro. These are the details provided by the manufacturer. Industry leading high res capable speaker drivers. Lightweight aluminum alloy and steel construction, DTS surround sound, clear cast microphone, prism RGB chat mix dial. Now let's look into the product design. Similar in design to the Arctis 5, but offers better sound isolation. It also has deeper ear cups than the Arctis 5, so it fits my head better. Overall, the headband and appearance are the same, but it has a different type of customization at the top. In addition, the headband is made from more durable materials. Compared to the Arctis 5, these are a bit more solid, but not a lot heavier. You could easily travel with these and you would not have to worry about them breaking so easily. It's comfortable on my head, maybe a bit more snug than the Arctis 5. Basically, it feels like a cushion on top of my head. In all the models tested, the ear cup material seems to be similar, if not identical. Now, let's get into the sound quality. It has the same Arctic sound signature as previous models tested, but you can tell the quality is slightly better. There is a high resolution, better dynamics, and the low and high end are more extended than the Arctis 5. Music and gaming sound more realistic and have better detail retrieval. With the low end, you feel the game more. It's definitely more immersive. Stereo music. Music sounds livelier, the sub bass range seems to be more present, and the low and high dynamics really shine. Stereo imaging for music is better positioned than the previous models. The stereo imaging and placement of sound are similar to the Arctis 5. I'd say overall an upgrade in sound quality when gaming. Surround sound game. DTS surround sound is very similar to the sound of profile of the Arctis 5. The EQ range has been improved and the high end provides a broader sound as a result. In addition, I've tried the Razer THX spatial audio and it's nice, but I think the DTS audio works better for presenting sound placement. Setup for the surround sound is similar to the Arctis 5 and RGB EQ microphone and game profiles can all be customized. In conclusion, SteelSeries headsets are high quality. The lower models do not sacrifice sound quality, but they just get better from there. A high quality standard overall. The higher you go in the series, the more features you get, but you can get by with the Arctis 1 for entry level gaming. Personally, I would start with the Arctis 5 due to its DTS surround sound and wide range of customization options. In order to have an immersive gaming experience, it's better to have this option. It's impossible to go wrong with any of the headphones because they all have good sound quality and are very, very comfortable. It's true that as you move up the ladder of models, the products have more features and more comfort, but the technology behind the speaker drivers and ear cups is very similar. The way SteelSeries sets up their models makes it very easy to figure out what will work for you. All of their headsets gradually increase in features and price. The website is also very user-friendly for someone who's looking for their first gaming headset. Apart from that, all of these headphones are great options. And you can't go wrong if you want great sound quality and an immersive sound stage. With all that being said, you can try out all these headphones for yourself by visiting the links in the description below. And if you found this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Every little bit counts. Thanks for watching.